Hello and welcome to this video entitled Copying and Pasting Batches of Data. Um, I have decided to make this video primarily because I obviously make a lot of spreadsheets for people and I send them these spreadsheets and then they try and copy data from their existing spreadsheets into uh, the one that they're using. But this might be this might be from, um, from an external source. It may also be from the actual spreadsheet sometimes. There's a, there's a tab that creates data that you then got to copy and paste into another tab. And I often get people coming back to me saying that they're seeing a message and uh, I'll try and replicate it for you here so that you can see it. Um, they're seeing a message like this where it says the seller chart you're trying to um, change is on a protected sheet. And then they message me and say, what's the password? I need to get into the spreadsheet. And I go, well, no, you shouldn't be into the spreadsheet. So what's going on um, now, as I want to say luck or whatever would have it, um, I've had issues with, with people who have, people have had this issue have come to me in the last two weeks. But now that I actually sit down to do a video, I've deliberately tried to create a spreadsheet that will give those errors. And it's not giving the errors because the Excel have actually fixed those problems in the last two weeks. So you may have an up to date version of Office 365. So some of these may not apply. But actually, almost in a sense, it's become more of a problem because now you're not copying all the data across correctly, but it's not showing the error. Um, so I want to show you how to do this properly and what to look out for and what the common mistakes are. Um, even if it does seem to work and even if it would work for this video, it doesn't. it's not necessarily correct. And now Excel aren't flagging up those areas because it's anticipating those potential problems. So let me just show you what I'm what I'm talking about. This is a typical kind of spreadsheet that I would that I would give out. The green section being where the, the data is editable. As you can see, there's some filters, and these cells here are locked. <clears throat> so the first thing you need to make sure if you're using one of my spreadsheets, or in fact anyone else's spreadsheets, so is the section where you're looking to paste actually unlocked? Because I do the color coordinated headers and go, this is this is locked. That's unlocked. Some people may not do this. So you just need to check first and foremost that all the cells that you're actually trying to paste into are in fact unlocked because some people may make a spreadsheet where all of this is data entry and there's one column that's locked and then there's more data entry and you're trying to paste into there. So the best way to do that is actually to highlight the section, uh, select the section that you, that you want to paste into, right click and see if you can click clear contents. If you can click clear contents, and it doesn't flag up with that warning. What that means is that this whole batch here is all unlocked and that's all where you can paste data. Specifically, if the workbook is, is protected um, and, and you need to make sure that that's where you wanna paste the data. Um, so now we know that those cells are in fact unlocked. Uh, if I tried that over here, I can't even select clear contents because these cells are locked. So I know that these ones here are unlocked everything on from there. In fact, if I test that, yep, that's also locked. So that's all locked. So it's just within that block. So I've, I've established that those are in fact unlocked cells. That's the first thing to do. Because sometimes even if I've made the spreadsheet, I might have forgotten to unlock one of these uh, columns. So you may, you may even have an issue where something's not in, in the middle isn't unlocked. Um, or if someone else has made it, as I said, there might be some locked columns. So that's the first thing to check for is that this section where you want to paste to is actually all unlocked. Now, if we go to the data source, now this data source and that one look the same, but they're actually not. Now, this is one of the things that I tried to copy and paste earlier and it actually worked. But normally if you've got different versions of Excel or if you haven't got the update that Excel had just done, if I copy that, oh, what's happening there? Yeah, Excel's throwing a real wobbly here today. See, that's what's going on. There's there's a lot, there's a hidden column. That was, that was a problem. If I go there and I say to paste values, it actually does paste because what Excel have actually changed is recently is the fact that they're not actually copying the hidden, uh, uh, hidden rows and hidden columns. The danger now is that you actually could be missing data. So you see there, there's a, there's a, there's a hidden column, a hidden row. Why is there a hidden row? Because I've applied the filter where their filters just have a look along the top here and make sure you can actually see when you apply filter, the, the number down the left here turns to blue. Um, but if you see any of the, those kind of icons at the top, then what you need to do is actually, um, 
unlock that filter on the on the data and actually select. So I, if you select all, then as you can see, it reveals another row. Um, and also, I actually did a hidden a hidden column here. So if you 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 can't do that with a filter, but if you select across that and you right click and you say unhide, you can do the same for the rows if there's no filter in place. Now you can see there's actually a hidden column. Now, if I were to try and copy that, that won't let me because it's actually too big. Now, that was the area you would have gotten previously because if you've got a slightly older version of Excel or if it hasn't done the update, as I said, what will actually happen is it will, when you, do, when you did that first copy, it won't copy them in batches. It'll actually copy the whole thing, including the hidden row and the hidden column. And when you try and paste values into here, it won't actually work because it, it's trying, it's copied too much data. The downside now, it, the upside now is what you see, it will copy and it'll paste values into the new cell. So it will work according to the new Excel kind of layout. The problem now is there might be, if, so, if one of your colleagues have used this and filtered by something to have a look and you want to copy all that data across, you're going to miss the row that they've now filtered out. So you're not actually copying all the data across, which is another problem that you need to be aware of. So either way, check your source data, make sure the filters are going, and make sure also that um, if you want to check for too much data, if you have a look at these column blue, uh, and if you can have a look and see, so there is obviously 1921, it's clearly skipped a number. And you can see a little double line there as well, uh, as you can here for the columns. So check the data is not filtered, nothing's hidden before you're copying across. Um, because as I said, you'll copy the right data, but you might now be missing some stuff. The other thing that people do, let me actually use this source two data, which is the correct one, is they'll come here, they'll copy this data, and then they'll come to the destination and they'll click here, for example, and right click and they'll try and paste values and it won't let them because again, they're trying to paste in the wrong place and now they've got too much and it's overlapping into the lock cells. The other thing that people sometimes do, instead of copying the data, they actually just run down the side and go, I'll have that please. And they'll copy that. What that means is you're copying the entire row, not just the, the those particular columns. So when you come to your destination data, even if you paste it in the right place, it won't let you because it's trying to paste everything across the whole thing and the rest of it's locked. So the best way to do this is to check your filters, make sure everything's unlocked, make sure everything's revealed, make sure everything's visible, there are no blue um, uh, rows and none of the columns are, are hidden. You've got all the data available. And then if you copy that and you come to your destination and you go to the top left, because I've made sure that there's enough cells, so you can, you can just double check. If this data doesn't match up exactly, you can count the columns. You can have a look at the row number, what row it starts, where it ends, subtract the one from the other, and you know how many rows you've got. And you can have a look and see if you've got enough data, enough space, and then if you paste values, it will paste into that um, unlocked area. Now, the other thing I tried to do, which again failed because Excel seemed to have picked up on this as well. Um, if you copy and you come to destination and you right click, there are various different paste options. Now, some the problem is the control B, uh, C, control V kind of default is a normal paste. And what normal paste does or at least used to do is paste all of the formatting for those cells. So when you do normal paste, what happens is what happened is if you look at these cells here, because I've locked the workbook, even if I unprotect it, if you right click on any of the cells and say format, it says that the cell is, is actually locked. So even if the workbooks, the, the, the sheet's not locked and you can edit it, when you paste it across here and it pastes all the formatting, it actually pastes the locked cells and now because this sheet is protected and these are unlocked when it pastes into it it pastes the lock cells so then what happens is once you've done that and you come back here and try and edit some of this data it won't let you because now you've locked those cells that were unlocked before um, excel wasn't doing this problem when i did it so it's obviously they've obviously accommodated for that however there's another problem because if there's conditional formatting in here, which then changes the cell, the cell color under various circumstances, and you paste that into here, it will paste the conditional formatting as well, which means that you'll have conditional formatting that's looking for rules that maybe don't apply to this page. And all of a sudden, some of these cells could change color and go berserk for no reason because the conditional formatting is all messed up. 
So what you do need to do is when you're copying from anywhere, even if it's one of my, the other thing with one of my spreadsheets is sometimes I'll create a, a tab where you can copy the data and there'll be formulas attached. And when you then paste, it pastes those formulas, but then it looks to cells that it can't find because there's no data there and it, and it goes all crazy. So what you really need to do is whenever you're pasting into an existing spreadsheet from anywhere else, whether it be from mine to mine or from an external to mine or from someone else's to somewhere else, always paste values. And that's the second one is paste values, not the normal paste, but paste values. Um, I've got videos and all these, a video on all of these different paste options you can have a look at, but paste values is the one that does the least amount of damage. It just pastes the data that you've got and it doesn't do any of the formatting or conditional formatting or anything else. So that's the best one to do. So yeah, just to recap, if you have a look for any hidden rows, any filters that have been applied, any hidden columns, uh, copy the raw data once you've got it all um, exposed and visible and then paste using paste values into the top left so that it puts it right correctly where it needs to make sure you've got enough space column wise and row wise paste values and that won't mess up any of the data and it won't corrupt any of the spreadsheet um yeah unfortunately as i said i couldn't get this to break for you um, because excel do seem to be picking up some of these issues and, and fixing it the problem now is that there are other things hidden that you might not even know you may not paste all your data you might paste formulas or conditional formatting across, which will mess things up. So remember paste values and make sure you've got enough space uh, just to double check. But uh, at any stage, do that test that I said at the beginning where you select it, right click and clear contents. Because even if you've pasted some locked cells in there or something, um, you might not pick up that the odd cells locked and that's why it's giving that error. So yeah, I hope that that helps you with the spreadsheets and, and pasting, download lots of uh, information. And I wish you all the best. Thank you and goodbye.